I am not the best at pixel art or artistry in general. So the last thing I'm going to do while making games is spend money on a tool that I might not even use correctly. So after doing the research, here are my personal top 10 free art tools to help you create stunning art in your games without breaking the bank. Let's get into it. First one on the list is Libra Sprite. This is a weird one because obviously it looks a lot like a Sprite and that's because it is a lot like a Sprite. Libra Sprite is basically a free version of a Sprite. You don't get the same updates, but it's still a powerful sprite editor with really everything you need when it comes to creating gorgeous 2D pixel art. It has all the benefits as its counterpart, such as a small file size, and intuitive UI. If you're making 2D art, this is the one you gotta pick up. Let's keep moving. Next on the list, no surprise, Blender. Blender is a 3D modeling animation and rendering tool, and it is an industry grade tool. Everybody uses this thing and it's free, which is crazy. Blender is just so versatile as a 3D creation tool. It's great for creating models, full animations, and entire game environments. Blender truly is the all-in-one solution when you're making a 3D game, and it has a huge and active community with libraries of tutorials to make it easier for newcomers to get up to speed and really take advantage of its full potential. You're gonna wanna check it out if you haven't, or if you haven't heard of it, just go check it out. Let's keep moving. Next up on the list is Krita. I've never known how to say the name correctly, but Krita is a professional grade digital painting program that shines in areas like concept art, texture creation, and sprite animation. It offers a highly customizable interface, powerful brushes, and a really intuitive workflow that allows artists to appreciate everything it has to offer. Krita, or however you wanna say it, also supports a frame-by-frame -frame animation, making it a solid choice for game developers who are trying to create animated 2D assets. And I didn't even mention it yet, but it's completely open source, which means it's continuously improving from from the community with new features added regularly and I love this about the tools we have today. I feel like not as many people have heard of this tool so go check it out if you're interested. It's free. What do you have to lose? Let's keep moving. Next on the list is Tiled and I love this tool. Tiled is a tile map creation and level designer. I know engines like Godot and Unity have their own tile map creation tool, but Tiled is a versatile and intuitive level creator. It supports a variety of game engines and tile map formats, making it a flexible tool for all game developers. Tiled allows you to create complex maps with multiple layers, objects, and custom properties, giving you a full control over your entire level design. The ability to import tile maps and export maps in different formats makes it essential for developers working on platformers, RPGs, puzzle games, anything you can think of that has a tile map, this thing is for you. I feel like something like this can get overlooked when you think that, you know, Godot and Unity have this, but what Tiled has done is make the process so much easier, in my opinion, and what I've experienced. So if you're making a game with a tile map, just check it out. It might be for you. Next on the list is Material Maker, and it does exactly what you would think. It is a procedural texture creation tool. It really is just a powerful texture generation tool that's free to use. Similar in concept to Substance Design, Designer. It's great for making PBR textures for game assets, which can add a huge and high level of detail and realism to your game. It has a node-based interface, which allows you to experiment with different textures and properties super easily. Whether you're creating surfaces for characters, environments, or objects, Material Maker provides the tools necessary to generate really high quality and reusable materials. If you're making a game that is doing something like this, this is a no-brainer. So go check it out. Next on the list is Piskel, and I've actually actually covered this before. Piskel is an online pixel creation tool. I'm saying tool like a thousand times in this video, but that's what we're covering, I guess. Piskel is a free web-based pixel art app that is specifically designed for creating pixel art and animations. The interface is super straightforward and it has all the tools you need to create and animate sprites without the unnecessary complexity of larger tools. Whether you're prototyping a new game or just doodling pixel art, Piskel offers a really to the point solution that is accessible for any developer out there. I've used this app for multiple projects and it's just so easy to use. And it's in the web browser. So you can literally just, you don't have to download anything. Just go check it out. Just keep moving. Next on the list and the latest entry to my toolkit is Photopea. 
Photop is basically a Photoshop clone. And I mean that in the best way possible. Photop is a web-based tool that functions as a free alternative to Photoshop, mirroring a ton of its functionality, like one-to-one. -one. Unlike some of the other apps that take different approaches, like GIMP or something like that, Photop is almost a direct copy, which is a big plus if you're already familiar with Photoshop like myself. It's great for quick edits, creating game assets or YouTube thumbnails, and it's just amazing. I have been using it every day for the past two weeks. I canceled my Photoshop subscription. I now have $30 back in my pocket for whatever I want to use it for. Photoshop has or photo P has just saved me so much money already. I cannot recommend it enough. I just can't stop talking about it because I, I grew up using Photoshop. I used it in school and it was the only thing I knew. So I felt stuck in using Photoshop. When photo P came up, it was a no brainer for me. Go check it out, please. It's amazing. That's enough. Let's keep moving. Next on the list is Magic Voxel. Magic Voxel, I bet you can guess it, you make voxel art and 3D modeling. Magic Voxel is a simple yet powerful voxel editor that's perfect for creating voxel-based characters, objects, and environments. It has a super easy interface and real-time rendering capabilities that make it super accessible for beginners while still offering a depth that is needed for more complex creators. Whether you're designing a retro style game or a stylized 3D world, this tool provides everything you need to bring those ideas to life. The export options are also super flexible, allowing you to easily integrate your creations into various different game engines. And like everything obviously on this list, it is absolutely free. So why not try it out if you need something like this? Go check it out. Up next is Inkscape. Inkscape creates vector graphics and 2D assets. It's obviously great for creating vector graphics that are perfect for creating scalable game assets like icons, logo, or user interface elements. Its ability to produce clean and scalable art makes it ideal for projects that require assets to be resized without losing any quality. Inkscape does this perfectly. It also offers a variety of filters, path operations, and a flexible text tool, making it a versatile addition to any game developer's toolkit. Whether you're designing a crisp UI component or a stylized vector art Inkscape, it'll have you covered. And I, vector art is kind of like magic to me. I don't know why, because you could rescale to any size, literally any size. So. I don't know, this thing's very cool to me and I like using it sometimes, so go check it out. It's free! At last, but certainly not least, is GIMP, or imagine, imagine Manipulation Program, or whatever, but you can create 2D art, pixel art, you know, or just image editing. It's honestly just another Photoshop alternative, and if you're not wanting to pay the 30 bucks for Photoshop, this is a great option. I have used this quite a few times. I only choose Photo P just because it's more similar to Photoshop. But GIMP is still super powerful and open source, offering a comprehensive set of tools for creating and editing game assets, textures, or UI elements. GIMP is particularly strong in areas like photo retouching, image composition, or graphic design. It also has a super customizable interface that supports plugins, which means you can tailor it to however you see fit. I, I Again, I've used GIMP a ton of times, so just go check it out if you're interested. So that's my list. If you want to stop spending money, go check these out. You won't regret it. If you want more lists like these, let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and stick around because we have more content like this. We have a game coming out called Cave Masters. It'll be out in a few months and we just opened the Soul Engine Discord server. So please go check it out. But thank you guys for being here. Let me know what list you want me to do next and I will see you next time. See ya.